All right, we have our three sliders, but they're not doing anything yet, so we need to create a listener for those sliders. And again, the thing to, that listens to sliders is called a change listener. So we're going to create my change listener, uh, a private class. Private class, my change listener implements change listener. And we'll need to import change listener. So I just hover the mouse over that, click import change listener, and then add unimplemented methods because we, uh, if we remember that any interface, anytime you say it implements an interface, this is an interface, uh, you have to implement the methods that the interface requires. And then the change listener interface just says you only have to have this one method in your class. So state change, change event E. Now we're going to do a couple things. We're going to say if e.getSource equals the blue slider or e.getSource equals the red slider or e.getSource equals the green slider. In all of those cases we want to do something and what do we want to do? Well, we want to grab the color in some fashion. And so we're just going to say at this point, uh, let's create a color field to, can, to uh, make sure we remember what the color values is. So we have to have an object that is a color object. And we'll just say the color, because we're only going to have one color, one brush color at any given time. And we have to import color. And then if we scroll down, we can say, if any of those sliders are clicked, we want the color to equal a new color object with those three values. So red slider dot get value, green slider dot get value, and blue slider dot get value. And then just to show you that this is going to work, we can say um, panel one dot set background color to the color. But now we still have to add those change uh, the change listener to our object. So we need to start some fields for the listeners. The first of which is my change listener. The change listener. And remember again, we only need one object of that type, and we can add that one object to all of our uh, sliders. So we we'll just say uh, blue slider dot add the change listener, and we'll just copy that and put it down here with the red one and with the green one, and just change this word here so it's red slider and here green slider. And now if we run our program, if we change these, the background should change. Nope, the background color did not change. What did I forget? All right, so let's head down there. If e.getSource change green slider dot get value. If e get source equals blue slider or red slider or green slider. Uh, change the color of the background. To panel one dot set background the color uh, panel one state changed the change listener blue slider dot add red slider the change listener did I spell something wrong uh, the change listener private my change listener green slider. I don't see it. Sometimes it's frustrating. I think it should be working actually. Let's just see. Nope, it's clearly not working. Oh, I didn't in initialize it. Funny. Yeah, okay, so the change listener 
equals new my change my change listener. Now it'll work. There we go. Okay, that's that for this part.